infrastructure could be a major focus and partnerships. And I would have to give us a, a tip um, in all areas if I was to look back on the work we've done over the last few years. Um, to bring us up to now, um, in the partnership arena, um, we've developed a partnership with the city of Hampton. We've enhanced our relationship with the Fort Monroe Authority. We now have an agreement with the Hampton City Schools where we bring teachers into the space during the summer. And uh, we hire young folks and they learn about uh, National Park Service careers. So that's going to be happening this year. I'm very excited about that. Uh, we have now initiated an uh, orientation film um, that will be ready by August 2019. It will be a 17-minute video. And within that video, we'll break it out to what we call webisodes that will focus on the African-American experience here at the fort, military history and experience, the American Indian culture, establishing the fort, and natural sciences. We will also bring back the HOPE program, Hands-On Preservation Experience. That's a youth program carried on by the National Park Foundation. These young folks will be coming back to the board to work on the infrastructure. They're going to work on quarters number one, and they're going to replace the porch and some of the um, piping over there, so we're excited about that. Um, this will be speaking of quarters number one. There is a historic structures report that was completed this year. Um, we're replacing all the toilets and all the historic buildings. I know that's not exciting, but if you walk through those buildings, I think some of those toilets have been around since the 1700s. <laughs> so we're excited about that. Uh, we replaced all the HVAC systems. Uh, we have a tree assessment that's going to be done this year. And um, one of the proudest things we're really excited to speak about is the one fourth um, concept that Glenn and I worked on from the very beginning. And we try not to make decisions in this place without talking to each other in this year exciting path to be on. And um, thank you for, for that work. I appreciate it. Um, this summer we're wrapping up our seasonal staff. We have four seasonals coming on by the end of June. Um, the end of June. And we also brought in some, uh, some extra help from the Student Conservation Association. We have two um, students coming in this year that's going to be helping us out. One is a community volunteer ambassador, and then the other is um, a young man who's coming from El Salvador or something like that. I don't really figure that out, but he's here, he's working with me, and I'm excited about bringing young people into this space. We're moving and rocking the world. So I think that's enough for that.